name is Becky. My name is Andy, and we're going to be doing a gony manual muscle test on the upper and lower extremities. Okay, if I can have you sit in the chair, we're going to start off doing cervical flexion with the crom. This on your head. You can hold it there. Okay, so, so what I want you to do is bring your chin, tuck it back, and bring it down to your chest. Okay, and bring it back up. And then go down again. And what you should be feeling during this? And you're at 0 to 47, normal 0 to 45. Okay, the next one is shoulder external rotation, so if I can have you put up on the mat. So the motion I'm going to want you to do is come back. So now, um, when's the next day that you work or are going to be doing a long Okay, go ahead and do mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Okay. So could you please make note for me after about how much time it is um, that you start feeling and that neck pain? Yeah, like okay, zero, five, two, minutes, ten minutes. Just kind of keep track of that all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, hip abduction. So, um, also so, kind of just yeah. thinking about adding some posture. Sure. Make sure that that could be a lot of it too. We're going to start from one ASIS, the other, the midline, the inner, to the patella. Okay, go ahead. Abduct. So it's going to be 0 to 20, normal 0 to 45. And if I can have you sit, we're going to do equal three. And that can actually be done. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, and it's going to be a lot of the list. So I'm going to take your lateral mulleus, start you neutral. But you don't get the top. Your fibular head. And then parallel to your fifth so metatarsal. Better. Okay, so if you, you want, if you want to feel them, if they're having more like down more, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so if yeah. you have the flex more, yeah. 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 I know like with just side bangers. Yeah. 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 I'm going to read so red again, you and you're at 0 to 52, yeah. normal yeah. is about 50, yeah. and Woo. we're going to do plus 6. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to want you to bring your arm up and pull your scapulas together. Okay. So can you do that for me? Good. And bring it up and don't let me push it down. One, two. Okay, we're going to do it once more. Just hold it up there. One, two. Okay, I'm going to give her a four out of five because she broke after a couple seconds. And now I'm going to do elbow extension. So I'm going to stay in the same position. Okay. And I want you to bring your elbow out. Okay, and bring it down. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to bring down a couple degrees so it's okay. in its locked position. And hold it there and don't let it push down. One, two, three. Good. Five out of five. Okay, and you can go ahead and lay on your back. The next thing we're going to do is trunk flexion. So it's just like a sit up with your hands behind your head. Um, okay. What we're looking for is for you to clear the inferior scapula. Okay. So go ahead and come up and hold it. Good. Let's do it once more just to make sure. <laughs> Good. So that's a five out of five. And hip adduction. So I need you to lay on your side. Forward, and I want you to bring this one up. Can you do that for me? Good. And bring it up, and I want you to hold it. One, two, three. Good. Five out of five. And for our last one, I would like you to be sitting. We're going to do hip internal rotation. Okay. So it's going to be bringing your leg out. Can you do that for me? Okay, and since she can't go for her normal range of motion, I'm going to um, test her for a grade 2 or lower. So if I can have you lay on your back. And for this one, the only, the way you do it is just by, if she can roll in and out. Can you do that for me? Good, so I'm going to give you a grade of 2 for that one. And that ends our skill check.